Hi everyone, I'm Nadia and in today's video I'm making a custom order of six different colored 3D flower resin coasters. The first thing I'm doing is mixing my part A and part B resin together and in this video I'm using craft resin which is a one to one ratio by volume and I'll have a link in the description where you can save 10% off if you'd like to give them a try for yourself. After I mix for several minutes in my measuring cup, I pour it into a smaller cup and mix for a few more minutes to make sure that every area has been mixed well and then I start to pour clear resin into my molds. Then I take some small paper cups and separate clear resin into each cup to add in my pigments. I love using these paper cups because they're very easy to reuse. Any old resin that's hardened into the cup doesn't peel off when you're mixing in new resin, so you can reuse them many, many times. I used a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and always be careful to move your torch gun very quickly so that you don't burn your resin or your molds. The first pigment I'm going to be mixing in is just Resin's Pigment Paste in the shade Dusty Pink. I'll also have a link in the description with a 10% discount code to Just Resin if you'd like to try out their pigments. Next, I'm using Just Resin's Silver Lilac. Followed by Deepon's Pale Green Pigment Paste. Next is Just Resin's Pigment Paste in the shade Sage, and I have it in this small container because my mom had separated some out of her jar to give me some. Then I use this yellow mica powder by Resin Pro. For my white pigment, I'm using Just Resin's Pigment Paste in the shade Titanium White. Always be sure to mix pigment pastes in the container first before you add a small amount into your cup of resin. I used this orange pigment also by Resin Pro and mixed in some white as well just to lighten it a little bit. Then I added some of Casting Crafts white pigment to try and lighten it some more. And I mixed in my gold leaf flakes into a small amount of resin to be the center detail. Now that all of my pigments are mixed in, I'm ready to start pouring into the molds. And I start by applying my gold detail into the center. I'm going to be doing each flower a little bit differently. So I start off with my white pigmented resin and use my wooden stick to draw out flower petals. And I do the same with my orange pigmented resin. And I drag a thin wooden stick in between each flower petal from the edge to the center. In my next mold, I again start off with the white pigmented resin, but this time I pour it out of the cup and create more flower petals. Then I take my blue pigmented resin and do the same. And again, I use a wooden stick to drag in between each flower petal. In my next mold, again I start off with the white pigmented resin, but instead of shaping it into flower petals, I circle it around the mold in a spiral motion. And I do the same motion with my pink pigmented resin. And again, I use the wooden stick and drag from the edge into the center of the mold. In 
my fourth mold, I take my white pigmented resin and this time I shape my flower petals to be a little bit more spiky and not very rounded. And I took my yellow pigmented resin and did the same but poured it out of the cup. In my fifth mold, I drew out five flower petals. And I filled in the center area with my purple pigmented resin. And in my last mold, I poured out of the cup and shaped around six flower petals. Then I poured my green pigmented resin. And before I leave them, I make sure to pop any air bubbles with my torch gun. And here I am the next day demolding. I use the adding gold marker to add a gold trim. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.